In a previous video, I talked about exponents and square roots, okay? But we're going to talk about something very specific about square roots. Let's take, for instance, the number 25. Now, believe it or not, the square root of 25 can be 5, or it can be negative 5. And you say, how is that possible? Well, do you remember in a previous video when I said that a negative number times a negative number becomes a positive number? Well, if you take negative 5 times negative 5, it's going to come out to be positive 25. It's that simple. So, you can actually have two different square roots for any number that isn't a prime number. Now, keep in mind, I told you a non-prime number. Prime numbers are like 1 or 3 or 7. Nothing times nothing is going to give you 7. And nothing times nothing is going to give you 3. And nothing times nothing is going to give you 1. It's that simple. Okay? You can't really... And you could square root 1, you could square root 3, you could square root 7, but you get some kind of a decimal answer, and that's not what you're really looking for. So, they are called prime numbers for that reason. Alright? But any number that isn't prime can be square rooted, and it can have a positive square root or a negative square root. So just keep that in mind. I will tell you more in a future video, so stay tuned.